Did you just call me ma'am? Yes, I did. Okay, that's fantastic. Now, as a lady of uh, a transsexual community here yes. in uh, Dayton, Ohio, I am working on art by taking photographs of myself and doing video. Okay. Now, according to what you had told me, that I would need to have a permit mm -hmm. in order to take pictures and to do video here. Uh -huh. Does that include selfies or is this... No. Please explain this. It's just for professional gain. You have to have a permit for photography okay. or any videography. So that's the only thing. Now, what do you consider professional gain? It depends on the... It's, it's all subject to opinion, but any professional gain could be money or it could be movement in the social world. You know what I mean? Okay, movement in social world, mm -hmm. meaning... Well, you said you were using it for... for yourself. Your, for your, my for yourself, personal project. For your yes. career. I don't so, have a career right now. You said you were a recording artist. artist. Yes. Yes. So that that is professional. So that's where I would go with that. Okay. okay? All right. Well, I really appreciate it. Sure. But know that I will continue to be around here. So I'm just wondering, what due punishment am I going to receive for recording video of myself here in Dayton. Nothing. And posting it online. Is there going to be a problem with no, that? No, you should be fine. Just make sure you're not doing anything that would be uh, offensive to anyone else. Okay, and what would that be? Nude shots? Yes. <laughs> yeah. What about walking around in my thong? Yeah, that's not appropriate. In it's the park. not? No. Is that, in is that in the rules and regulations yeah. somewhere within the city codes? Uh, it's in the park code. It's not in the city code. It's in the park code? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And how can one get access to this park code? They're on our website, metroparks.org. Okay. Fantastic. And the details explanation of what can be done and what cannot be done? Yes. Is on there? Should be, yes. So if there's any questions in regards to do, doing uh, self-portraits or if it's recording or any of that. And, you know, by the way, I have been out here in Dayton since 2009 and I have been going through an extreme level of difficulties because it's challenging to get people in this area motivated um, to uh, geared in helping the local community, whether that be homeless people, people or people in the LGBTQ community. Mm -hmm. And as a recording artist, as a writer, I've written some pretty incredible songs for the community. And I got to say to you, to your face, that this is the second time that I was questioned while here at the park, just taking simple photographs of myself. And I got to say publicly that I am tired of being harassed. About. I'm tired of the being questioned. The other problem is, just so you know, there are children playing down here, and when people see cameras around their children, they get they get nervous about it because there are pedophiles out there, okay. and that was one of the complaints, was the camera with children present. Now, do I look like a pedophile to you? No, I'm not saying that, okay. but parents with their children are very protective with cameras around their children. Okay, now another question is, have any of these parents, while I was here, complained about me potentially taking pictures of their children. I don't know, I just got here. You did? Yes, ma'am. So it was just under suspect that when you saw me taking pictures of myself, you felt that you would just approach me? No, I got a call from our staff to, that you, you were down here, yes. Okay. So I haven't even gotten a chance to talk to them yet. I was talking to them when you called me over. Okay, now, and with this staff, what was assumed while taking my self-portrait? That you were taking prerogative. Is that the right word, prerogative? Um, inappropriate position to pictures, I guess you could say. All right. Okay. Now, my question is, is there a definition in the Dayton uh, codes that simply say what the definition of provocative is? I don't know that it does. I don't, I, I don't know. I haven't looked at it in a long time. Because I am an advocate for expression of art and freedom. Mm -hmm. And I do not like people interrupting me when I'm doing something that's really pretty much harmless. Right. And it is beneficial to the planet. At large. Right, that's why I just let you know of the rules so that you knew not to get in the waters or block any paths, okay. which are the photography rules, and to make sure that you're not offending anyone else in the park by what you're doing. So when I was down at the river, I have noticed that there are other people in the river, in the water. Now, why would this entail that I could not be in the river, but other people can be in the river? I wasn't down there, so I don't know what exactly you're talking about, but if they're, were they kayaking? Sometimes they're kayaking, sometimes people are just sitting along uh, the stone edge and they have their feet in it. That's okay. Is that, that yeah. is okay? You just, it's not safe to enter the water. And that's the biggest, we're biggest on advocating the education of the river and how it affects people and all that good stuff. Okay, fantastic. Okay. And uh, just for the public information, we are here speaking with... I think so.
DL Flora. Yep. Flora. She recruited me. And uh, she has been explaining to me that as a model or a, a videographer, that if I am doing anything on a, some sort of professional level, whatever the definition of professionalism is, is undetermined, but that I would need to have some kind of city approval through a permit. Um, through the metro parks, not through, through the city. Through the metro parks. Mm -hmm. And as well, you have to be careful about how you move your body when you're taking self-portraits or doing videos because it could be considered uh, sexually provocative. Yes. So this is very interesting for us to learn here in Dayton. And as well, um, it could leave on the possibilities that you may be a sexual pedophile if uh, you're walking around with a camera for a video and taking pictures of yourself. But that wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that I'm a transsexual female woman. No. Okay. No, not yeah, at all. Awesome. All right, well, I hope you have a wonderful day. You too. And this is gonna go public because this is not for professional, but I think that other people should be aware that if they bring their camera or they're, or they're doing a video and they have heart and they're trying to do something for the local community, that it will most certainly be taken the wrong way. You will be insulted with the fact that you could be a potential pedophile. And, uh, you know, you gotta just raise awareness to this to the local community so that people, you know, keep your cameras at home is basically what I'm hearing here, right? Mm -hmm. Keep your cameras at home? No, you can bring your cameras out. Just make okay. sure that you're courteous of everyone else that's in the park. Okay, All fantastic. Right. It was nice talking to yes, you. Yes, have a good day. All right.